Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know uh, to get your driver app installed, uh, logged in and start processing orders. So <clears throat> this is going to be pretty easy. All you have to do is navigate to your Play Store uh, if you're on Android and um, Apple Store if you are on an iPhone. So we'll go ahead and do that. We will type driver logic here. Once we do that, we will see the driver logic app. Now go ahead and install it. Now, once you do that, we will go back and we will launch the application. All right, so now that we have our app installed, uh, we will go ahead and open it. And you will probably get a pop up that asks for your driver location. Uh, now, you should allow it at all times while we only uh, collect location data when you're actually using the app and in the background when you're using your navigation app like Google Maps or Apple Maps. And this is very important so the system can determine uh, if you're in a good location to pick up another order and to keep you moving so you're not sitting around um, while dispatchers try to manually assign your orders. So make sure you have your location as always on in order to improve efficiency and to receive more orders. So now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and put our login information. In this case, this is going to be mine. And then we'll put our password here. Now, if you do have any trouble um, remembering your password, you can always reset it with the email that you were provided by uh, your delivery service. <clears throat> so go ahead and log in. Now, once we do that, um, we do advise that you enable precise location and uh, <clears throat> Uh, as we, as I mentioned before, accurately match you with delivery offers, give you precise directions and routes, and you can always change this in your location settings. So we can't stress this enough, um, optimizing the driver routes and making sure you have your location on is very important. So we will go ahead and hit OK, and we can <clears throat> allow while using the app. And there we go. Now. If you are logging in and you want to accept orders right away, simply go ahead and uh, select start accepting orders, which will change your status from offline to accepting orders. If you ever need to change your status, you will go uh, up here to change and you can go on break, last run or checkout. Go on break is going to give you a pop up if you uh, do need to take a break to get gas, use the restroom, whatever it is. Um, let's just say we want to do a five minute break. There will be a countdown that says five minutes. And then if we are done with our break early than we thought we would be, uh, simply go ahead and click change and end break. All right. Now, if we are doing our last order of the day, uh, you can select last run. And this will basically uh, notify the system that you will do one more order and then you're uh, going to be done for the day. And we can also uh, revert that by just going ahead and checking in. And now I'll show you if you manually want to check in without the pop-up that says start accepting orders, we will check out and now you are offline and we'll go change and check in. There is another feature that is called delayed check-in and this simply allows you to uh, let your dispatcher team know that you will be ready or in location in let's say 15 minutes. And what it does, it will also put a timer and after 15 minutes, you will be in the accepting order status. Now, if you want to change that as well, you can just go ahead and check in right away. So now that we went through that, uh, we are going to go over a uh, order that you're going to process here in a second. So now what we need to do is we will get our order sent here. And now you will see that we receive a text message that is going to say that you have been assigned order, whatever the number of the order is, and you can communicate with the customer via this phone number. Um, keep in mind, you have to communicate through this text message in order to talk to the customer um, and your uh, phone number will be masked. But if you do call the customer directly, which is not going to be, be this number, keep that in mind. Um, 
<clears throat> your, or, uh, your phone number will be shown to the customer. So now that we have that out of the way, uh, we are going to back, go back to the app. And now uh, we can go over uh, the whole setup and the process of the order. So as you can see, uh, your delivery service might have a reject button here and uh, accept button. So once we have an overview of the order, as you can see, you will have your pickup time estimate and estimated pay. So this is the order and this is the, the restaurant where we're picking it up from. So we will go ahead and hit accept. And once we do that, we will see a couple of different fields. So if you scroll up, you will see the due time and the pickup time. Um, you will see that as soon as possible is the due time. So the sooner we process the order, the better. Now, under restaurant information, you will have the address, the name of the restaurant and the phone number. And then uh, if you hit directions, it will take you automatically to your uh, Maps app, whatever your, uh, your preferred one is. Is it, is it Apple or Google Maps? And then we also have an option to call the restaurant. Now we also have the customer's information and you will see their phone number, address, name, and you'll be able to text them, call them, or get directions to them. Now, as you can see, the order is currently in orders being placed mode. Now, what we will do is we are going to place it and we'll refresh really quick. And now you can see that the order has been changed uh, to the place status. So now if we scroll down, uh, we will mark when we actually get to the restaurant. So we will go ahead and arrive at the restaurant and now we'll get a pop-up that will tell us, hey, special instructions, um, pick up at the second window, please. And these are, these are um, referring to the restaurant and sometimes you might have customers special instructions. And it will tell you that you can see this note again by clicking the little orange uh, circle that you will be able to see here. So if we click on it, we'll get the same note shown to us. Now we'll scroll back and as you can see, this requires, uh, this delivery service requires that we check off all the items uh, before we leave. So we will make sure that we have the queso with ground beef, a Southwest chicken salad with Southwest ranch and a tortilla soup. And now once we selected all three of these, we will mark and route. Now this will going to automatically push us into the navigation app, into our maps. So if we hit that, it will automatically populate the address in the Google Maps or um, Apple Maps. And now you can see the directions and there we go. So now when we're on our way to the customer, uh, before dropping off, uh, if your delivery service requires you to submit a photo, all you have to do is click this camera button right here. You can allow it while using the app. So in this case, we have this wonderful um, hazelnut wafer, which will be the customer's food. And basically what all you have to do is snap a photo and then you can either retake that photo or accept as it is. So let's just go ahead and accept it. And we can say that we got ID verification from the customer. We made sure that's who ordered the food and we can say, uh, customer's wife accepted the order and we will submit a photo. Now, once we do that, if you scroll down, you will see that uh, we have ID verification. And we can also, before we mark the order delivered, uh, we can add a tip and a signature. And we can say that the family member accepted this order. And then you can uh, hand your phone to the customer and they can add a tip if they want to. And then once they do that, you will have to select one of these fields and hit continue. Now just go ahead and allow access to photos and media because uh, the customer will need to sign. We'll, we'll just sign this really quick. We'll go ahead and sign it off. And now we'll be thrown back into the order. And now we can go ahead and mark it delivered and we can have, we can overview and see that we have the signature and the photo ID. So go ahead and mark it delivered. 
and now you're good to go so it will tell you nice work you made x amount of dollars so far and that will go into your delivered part or uh, delivered tab so as you can see there's a couple of other features that we can test right now we will send a message from the dispatch team and that will show up as a text message and if we leave that off uh, you can see that we have a test message in our chat and this is where you can uh, communicate to the dispatch team in case you have any issues or you need help uh, processing the order now under reports you'll be able to see uh, what's your balance uh, what you owe what you're owed and you can select any number of uh, days in order to see different orders so in this case current balance is that um, we owe $117 because we processed cash orders, for example, and then we are owed $12 in payments. And then if you scroll down, you can see a summary of either a day, uh, any, any set number of days, a week, a month, whatever it is, simply by just changing these two dates up here. And if you select, for example, in this case, we have that one day and we can say that we made a total of $3 in tips. Um, and then if we scroll down, we will see all the orders that are unpaid that um, have the summary for them on, on how they were processed, how much we made on that order, and so on. Now, if you have any issues with the app or you need anything resolved, um, <clears throat> you will go to your accounts tab and you will scroll down. Uh, there's just a couple of uh, really basic information here as your status, how many orders you had. Uh, in that day and then we also have some user information and now this is the important part uh, if you have any any issues using the app if something's not working properly uh, make sure you go to the app info and you will take a screenshot of this this part right here and then scroll down and take uh, the screenshot the second screenshot of everything that's down here okay uh, it, it is very important for us to uh, in order to fix any issues that you might have uh, to get all of this information so we can quickly look through it. And then your logout button is here, which is different than changing status. So keep that in mind. If you log out, you will have to log back in. But the change status is a completely separate thing. You don't have to log out every time you close the app. Um, you can just close the app while you're in offline mode and you are good to go. If you have any questions, uh, make sure you chat into your dispatch chat, and we hope you have an easy time using this. Have a great day. Bye.